Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching this job video. Today we will make this cool shield material in Unreal Engine. So this is just a material tutorial. I will show you everything how to make this mesh, how to make this whole thing in this. This is scratch uh, from scratch tutorial. Step by step you will learn each and everything. Even if you are a beginner, no worry. You can learn this thing in this tutorial. So let's start this. So let's start this. So if you have a sphere with tries, or oh, you can use that. If you don't have, you can make. And we will also change something in UV. So let's go to Maya. So let's say you have a sphere. Uh, let me just scale it maybe five times. Okay. And it's not tries. These are quads. And if I go to UVs uv editor uv is very flat planar so basically if i select this this is top and this is bottom okay so if i use any texture that will like project it properly but but i want i want these to be randomly scattered so how you do that you can duplicate your uvs before doing this so you will have this uv and another uv and if you don't want to you can just directly work on this so what i'll do uh, first, I'll just automatic and then I'll select the edges and right click, cut, then faces and here layout. So all the faces now is scattered randomly. And this is the method in, in Maya. If you're using any other 3D software, you can uh, use your methods. Okay. Now still these faces are randomly scattered, but it still it has some size. So if I use a texture, a gradient, and this gradient is half of this, so this try will be half white, half black. What I want this these faces which I am selecting anyone should be either white or either black. So how you do that? You have to scale it to a pixel. So when you use any texture and your pixel can be white or black or any other color but it will not have any gradient because it's just a single pixel so what i'll do i'll scale it so you can select all and if you scale it it will scale it from the center but what i want i want each to be scaled on its own point so what i'll do select all in the uv toolkit which come from here toolkit in the transform and this texel density, I'll just make this zero and set. And now if I see, show you vertex mode, see, these all vertexes. So when a pixel, which is black, white, gray, come on this, it will change the whole face color altogether. So this is what I have done, but we have to also make it triangle so i actually forgot to do that so i will just quickly undo that i'll just delete this and take a sphere again and i'll do that again so you can see so there are lots of ways to make a triangle so i'll just right click make a triangle i'm not happy with this so what i'll do i'll now smooth and now i will uh, try it again and now i will reduce it and then I will try it again. Triangle. And maybe I will smooth again. And maybe try it again. I'll do this thing uh, multiple times. And then I will reduce again. I think this is it. Now you have these cool tries. Okay, and now in the UV editor, I'll do the same thing. So first thing I will do is, I'll just apply an automatic. Then I'll select all edges, cut those edges, then select all faces, select, modify, layout. Now it's pretty high poly, so it will take time. Now select all shells and go here make this zero and set it will take some time here so so my maya actually crashed and file didn't save so i will actually 
uh, instead of this we can just take this one and make this size 5 maybe subdivision 2 and we can use try this will be tries but these tries are all same size uh, not like my previous which has a different size of tries but we can use it for now so i'll just do it quickly Okay, so now you can see all scaled and I'll just save it. So I can just directly drag it here and this is very small. So let me save it first and I'll make it maybe 5 or 20. It depends how big you want. Maybe 30 will be enough for this. So this is the material i'll just call it m shield i'll just preview this is fair here okay so now if i make this material unlit and if i have a texture coordinate and i take this any channel red green whatever and I'll plug it here you will notice because this gradient will uh, reflect randomly because we have this random points cool and if you have a noise texture let's say if i have this texture aura so because it's noise it's it's random and even more random because of this noise so what I want first thing is when I move my camera, I rotate in my camera, these should like uh, animate in a way. So you can use the, use lots of things. Let's say you use a reflection vector. But for reflection vector, your texture should be HDR. So you can see the error here. So you can just use two channels and we'll fix that issue so this will give you this thing when you move your camera it will change this thing and this change here but this thing reflection vector is making this texture same again it's not like uh, the previous one triangles so what you can do instead of directly using it you can take texture coordinate and adding this so basically you are now distorting the actual uvs not making the uvs uh, reflection vector now you can see when i'm moving camera this thing is changing you can change the styling also if you want like 0 0.1 0 0.1 or you want to increase or decrease whatever you want you can do that see i'll just make it maybe then i will take here printl and first i'll just preview the fernail i'll make some settings here if i now multiply this fernail with this this is how it will look i also need opacity so i will use translant or maybe additive let's say to translant not crash actually Sometime on Transcendent, Unreal got crashed. My Unreal got crashed and I did it again. So these are all my nodes and you can see with the Fresnel. And this is how it looks here. So now I want random colors. So for that, let's say if I saturate this and take the ramp. Instead of this, if I take texture coordinate and take just a single channel, anyone, I just preview it. Let it preview first. We have these random kind of thing. So now what I'll do, I'll now use this and I'll make this maybe black, 
maybe bluish purple i will add some colors maybe greenish if you want you can add a letter to you basically if i just add it here you can see now it looks nice so we will have random colors and when i move animates you can also add little pen here if you want 0.1.5 it will keep animating that reflections now one more thing i'll do i'll take this power this kernel with higher power maybe 5 so it will be just the edge now i'll multiply it with the color and now multiply again so i can boost the values maybe like 5 then i will add it back to the emissive here so i will have some edges that is very bright here maybe 50 so if you can see with 50 see if i save now this is how it looks I think this one I can reduce this panel so we will have something in the center also but the try size is very big but you can do that in Maya next thing I'll do I'll just enable here refraction, uh, refraction. And I'll just take this thing, saturate, take the lerp, and just maybe one, two, and just connect. Okay, let's save it and see how it looks. Yeah, so we have some fraction also. Now, next thing is uh, I want to add some world portion offset, so I'll take noise. I preview this and let me take the world position also and then let you compile actually I will actually yeah these are the settings I will change this to maybe I don't want turbulence I want this to be smooth 0 to 1 value and board noise so it will be very smooth noise that I will multiply with the word tax normal and then I multiply again to distort I will make parameter for everything like this is WPO zero this is refraction which is two and I want to animate this also so I will add time let's multiply time so this will be our speed which is zero and then here for the tiling which is now one i think these are enough let me save it and we will make an instance material then we will see how we can tweak it to make it even better Today my Unreal is very slow, very very slow. So I'll just right click, make an instance, and then drag this instance here. Open this. So basically you have this. Now see what we can do with this. If I increase this first thing, then we can decrease the tile, maybe 0.01. And then increase the speed maybe 50, 50 and tiling maybe even smaller. So it's like a bubbly effect and refraction we can tweak like this. I think we can change the tiling if you want. Like it's up to you how you want. But I really liked it. I hope you also liked it.
Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye-bye.